one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Flags, three countries, and only one world champion that takes home a glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship games, time to go to our referee, Mora Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Mike, we're down to the wire in our competition. Mexico is in first place, but the UK is only one gold behind. Who will be in first place at the end of the day? Let's get going and find out. Well, we're going to start it off right here with a little feeling of jumping across the Alps in peak to peak. You're going to take that leap because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put an elastic cord on your back and you'll be jumping across our radical ridges, hoping you can score the best time. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, all of our players must cross the mountain range, making sure to hop on each peak. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. First up will be the bandit. And the bandit trying to touch down for a little speed. He's dangling in the air. He did not get a good jump off of the aerial bridge, but now he seems to have got his pace. So we'll see what he can do this time. Yes, a better leap. Oh, no. In the air a little bit more, but getting his momentum and rhythm down, coming in. And with the touch right there, that will be the time. So, uh, actually, we'll have to check out what the official time is, see if he missed any peaks. Let's go to Mo. Ben clocked in at 18.3 seconds. We will see what the Iceman, Manuel, can do. On your mark, get set. He is from Spain, and the time to beat, you see, 18.3. Now, players must hit all of those peaks on the way down and the way back, or they will get a penalty. He's going to have to hustle. He got back, oh, a long hesitation right there and not a very good jump off the aerial bridge. He's making work for himself. He missed the peak, it seems to be right there. It might have even missed another. We'll go to Mo and find out the official results. Mo. Jose clocked in at 25.4 seconds. That includes three two-second penalties for missed peaks. All right, so up next will be from Mexico, Alejandra, the intrepid Alvarez. We'll see what she can do. On your mark. Get set. And with the push-off, she gets a nice leap right in there. She planned ahead, and look at her, marching her way to a great time. Slight hesitation, but picking her rhythm back up. Oh, she might have just missed the peak. She's coming in. It's going to be very close at the finish. And with the touch. So you see the time to beat was 18.3. I do not know if she missed the peak. We'll have to go to Mo and figure out the official result. Mo. Alejandra clocked in at 19.6 seconds. That includes one two-second penalty, which puts Ben in first place, Alejandra in second place, and Jose in third place. Well, the flight of the Intrepid started off this aerial bridge with a very quick start, very strong movement, but she hesitated at the other end of the bridge, which made the bandit. His time was the fastest one. Look at this determination all the way from England to get 300 bills for first place points. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo! Here it is, Mike. Ben from the UK is in the lead because first place is worth 300 points. In second place with 200 points, Alejandro from Mexico. In third place with 100 points, Jose from Spain. And remember, the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And now we're going to get to know a little bit closer this world-class contender from the United Kingdom. Hey, Ben Bandit, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Ben Poot from Bristol, England. I like all sports, but I really like cricket and football. I'm all 
also a black belt in Taekwondo. This has helped me to concentrate and it's made me a better person because it's not violent. My ultimate sports fantasy is to play for Manchester United and represent my country in football. We have assembled the world's toughest terrain for our international cross-country race we call Tornado Run. Our global athletes will be attacking the track, starting out, crossing the steaming stream, then making a turn into the quivering quake, then fighting through these vicious vines, and then making a turn to shoot through the swirling swamp fog. Mo, this one's going to be tough. Ah, yes, but these kids are tougher, Mr. Mike. The sound of my whistle, each player will race around the track, making sure to negotiate each obstacle. Fastest time wins. On your mark, get set. The fastest in peak to peak was Ben the Bandit. And the Bandit sticking up the competition by setting the pace. And this first run, look at him fight through the vines. Nothing slowing this man down, but tripping actually right there. The Bandit through the fog and across. Determined to set the pace, we'll go to Mo and find out the official time for the Bandit. Mo. Ben clocked in at 18.2 seconds. All right, so the bandit on the run. Up next from Spain, it's the Iceman. On your mark, get set. All right, that's Manny. Manny the Iceman in red. The time to beat. Oh, and tripping through the quake. But not tripping him enough. This man's attacking the vines and push it through. He's got to get across in about two seconds. Through the fog, will he make it? We'll go to Mo. Jose clocked in at 19.8 seconds, Mike. Up next will be the intrepid as the two men talk it over. On your mark, get set. The intrepid. All the way from Mexico to make it through the hot steaming street. The time to beat. 18.2. She's going to have to really fight through those vines right there. This young lady from Mexico going through the fog, picking up the pace, the intrepid. And across with the time, we'll go to Mo and find out the official. Mo. Alejandro clocked in at 21.6 seconds, which puts Ben in first place, Jose in second place, and Alejandro in third place. You need a quick start, you need determination, and you need very quick reflexes because this ground will shift and move. It is very deceptive. Missing the jump right here, you see our main man, the Iceman, quivering in the quake, but the Iceman wasn't going to melt down. He kept on moving, kept on grooving. He needed those points. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now. Mo. Well, Ben is still in the lead with 600 points and tied in second place with 300 points each. Jose from Spain and Alejandra from Mexico. Oh, folks, we got a little tie game in the lead. So hang around. When you come back, we got to hang 10 and shoot out. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids, and the world title is still up for grabs. But right now, it's time to get to know a little information on a sports sensation from the Spanish nation. Hey, locomotive, spill your guts! Hola, mi nombre es Jose. Hello, my name is Jose, and I've come from Spain to Orlando to win Global Guts. I like handball and skating. My favorite sport is basketball because you have to be intelligent, agile, and strong. I want the world to know that Spain is beautiful and fun, and our food is the best. For me, a good athlete has to be fast, flexible, and have a positive attitude. Imagine racing across the English Channel on a surfboard. Well, folks, in a hang 10, we're going to bombard our athletes with some big time waves and some serious surgeon surf. Which one of these players is going to shred the most wicked waves? We're about to find out, but first, Mo. Mo! At the sound of my whistle, players will have 30 seconds to collect as many buoys as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so Ben, the bandit, takes to the water. We'll see if he can turn into Aquaman as he tries to hang 10. Those buoys all around the pool. 
and Ben will have the magic number that our other players will compete against. As time runs out, you can see him holding onto that board. He's digging into the water and paddling himself. Turns the corner. It's going to be close. He's got about two seconds. Will he reach for that last one? Oh! Oh, this man. Let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. Ben collected nine buoys, Mike. And Jose's up next. On your mark, get set. All right, well, the Iceman is now taken to liquid form. In this event, Hangtown, our players got to think about coordination and peripheral vision. You got to see the whole pool because those buoys are scattered throughout the whole pool. But it looks like right here, Jose has about three. Now, both Jose and our purple player from Mexico, Alejandra, they are both tied with 300 points. But time is running out, and it doesn't look like he's going to have nine. You see the tip of the board is submerged. We'll go to Mo and find out his official number. Mo. Jose collected seven buoys. So now it is up to the intrepid Alvarez. In purple. On your mark, get set. Now when those waves are hitting you folks, you see the intrepid using both of her arms. She is spread out across that board and she's using her legs to kick towards the next buoy. So we got about 17 seconds left. She has four, looks to be five. She's got to move all over that pool. She has to make a decision whether she's going to go left or right. But she, she, she sees a couple other. She's digging towards those final buoys. As time runs out, she's reaching for that last one. She might have nine there. Let's go to Mo for the official result, Mo. Alejandra collected eight buoys, which puts Ben in first place, Alejandra in second place, and Jose in third place. Folks, they are the best in the world because they can make quick decisions under pressure. The intrepid coordinating her choice with her buoy count. She had the victory vision on a high beam periphery. She grabbed those extra buoys, giving her eight. But unfortunately, eight was not enough for first because first in fearlessness, the bandit be popping his belly against the bombardment of surging surf. He maintained his five-fingered lasso there and roped in another 300 fanes with his nine buoy count. Let's go check out the leaderboard standings now. Mo! Well, Mike Bennon from the UK is in the lead with 900 points. In second place is Alejandra from Mexico with 500 points. In third place is Jose from Spain with 400 points. Perfect game on the line, but right now we're going to meet this formidable foe from Mexico, Alejandra, the intrepid. Time to spill your... Hi, I'm Alejandra Alvarez from Mexico City. My favorite sports are basketball, tennis, ping pong, and softball. Tennis is my favorite sport. You need concentration and strength to hit the ball well. I would like the world to know that Mexico is a very beautiful place with family values and interesting culture. You have been battling it out through two halves and two overtimes, and now it is time for a shootout. But here on Global Guts, we'll give you a little elastic equalizer to get your bounce right up there, kicking the balls in the goal. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge and try to kick their soccer balls into the net. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. All right, a perfect game on the line for Ben in blue. And 60 seconds to concentrate. Accuracy, timing, and power. That's Jose in red with the score. Jose is in third place. He needs a first place finish in this, and he seems to have a rhythm down. As you take a look at Alejandra, she's a little bit off the mark. And Manny, he. Man missing. That's many again. You see him. And time is running out there. Our soccer ball is going all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. The Ben has the perfect game on the line. We have judges for each of our players who are tailing the score, but I have no idea who is in the lead. Kicking chaos is five seconds running down. It looks like Ben just scored another one. Jose, he's out of bandle time. 
which got him out for the results. In first place was Jose making seven goals. In second place, Alejandra scoring five goals. In third place, Ben scoring three goals. Well, the blood temperature of the intrepid, far from tepid, this woman is fired up because she just got a second place finish. Nice form, but form of the day went to the Iceman, putting the perfect score for the Bandit in a freeze frame because that's victory for our man. And yesterday, I had a little time to talk to the bandit. The bandit who came in third, but he's still in first, I do believe. Here's what he had to say. There's a game that you guys play in uh, England. It's called uh, cricket. And what is that? You guys, like, batting around like grasshoppers and stuff? Or? No, we're hitting a ball with a bat to a boundary, like a massive oval. And you score points. And is that going to be able to help you uh, in tomorrow's competition? Yeah, it could do, because it keeps you fit. Okay, so very close so far. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Well, Mike, Ben from the UK is still in the lead with 1,000 points. And now tied in second place with 700 points each. Jose from Spain and Alejandra from Mexico. Well, now it's far time for the real fight. Bobbing, weaving, shoving, heaving. Look out! The crack! Super aggro crack! from three countries have given their maximum effort and it's a whole new game after our last event. So while our players get psyched to conquer the crag, let me remind you that the points, they have skyrocketed in this, our final event. 375 points for third place, 550 for second, a whopping 725 for first. Let's go to Mo and see where we stand, Mo. Mike, after four events, Ben from the UK is in the lead with 1,000 points and tied in second place with 700 points each, Jose from Spain and Alejandra from Mexico. That's a look at where they stand now, how they got there. The Iceman, watch his hesitation here on the aerial bridge on his turnaround. That hurt his time going peak to peak and first place went to Bandit Ben this man was on fire. A first place finish in that. We go into Tornado Run. The Intrepid tackling the vicious vines, digging through the vines and picking up the pace. But again, this event went through the bandit. Look at the bandit's burst of speed through the fog. Across the finish line, it was his second first place finish in a row. We go into Hang 10, trying to contain your composure in the pool. The bandit, he went on a little shopping spree. Another first place finish. We get here though into the shootout and this is where things change. The Intrepid kicking one, as did the Iceman. They took first and second, changed the look of our game. And now ladies and gentlemen, the competition is really going to heat up because right now we enter the super aggro crag. First it was the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now, the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up to Switchback Bent, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you my mo. Mo! Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Who will get to the top of that mountain first? Let's get it started with Mo. On your mark, get set. And so, we're 
purple and red with 700. The Bandit in blue with 1,000. Will the Bandit steal a victory on the Super Agro Greg? Utter chaos on the Greg. The snow, the smoke, the falling rocks. Right now, it looks like the Bandit's in the lead. But the Iceman going up the ice wall in red. And then Trumpet at the ice wall also. But it looks like all Bandit. Bandit at the top. The Bandit bash it in. We'll get the silver. Silver's on the line. Ice wall. Will it be the Ice Man? Let's go to Mo for the official. Mike, we had a difficult super aggro crack. Jose missed the last boulder in Boulder Canyon, which placed him automatically in third place. So in first place on the Super Agro Crag was Ben from the UK. In second place was Alejandra from Mexico. In third place was Jose from Spain. So two things on the Iceman's mind, the Bandit and Boulder Canyon, except he missed. There was one extra boulder in Boulder Canyon. He jumped off early to hit that first actuator. That gave him an automatic third place. So as you see up the ice wall, it was all the bandit from Bristol. Like a quick drawn pistol, he shoots through the labyrinth and finds Guts Gold glory at the summit. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here they are, Mike. In third place today, Jose from Spain, 1,075 points. In second place, Alejandra from Mexico with 1,250 points. Our winner today, Ben from the UK with 1,725 points. And so, the bronze will go to Jose from Spain. The man who took first place in shootout showed some style in peak to peak. We'll take back the bronze to Spain. Alejandra from Mexico. Came all the way from Mexico. And she's going back with the silver medal. And the guts go. Global guts glory. At a glowing piece of our radical rock. We'll go to Ben. The bandit Pope. All the way from the UK. anthem of the United Kingdom because Ben the Bandit has do, do, won do you have it? the Guts Bowl. Do, 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 do and now it? in order for the Extreme Arena do you to have show it? their appreciation for these three incredible athletes. They're taking a victory lap. Oh yeah. Listen to this crowd do, 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 do rock. Got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.